Not every day the opposite of the sunset's cooler than the sunset. So you wanna hear something funny? I totally forgot to take the bait out of my cooler three days ago. Check this out, it's gonna be nasty. From this weekend. Dude, ruin those beers. I don't know what I'm more mad about, ruining the cigar minnows that I wasted or the beers that I lost. These are nasty. I might just wash the beers off. Don't hate. Don't hate. Gotta appreciate. Ugh. Jeez. Made up my mind. I'm not throwing them away. I'm gonna suds the shit out of them and they're gonna be good to go. It's a fact. So this car behind me right here, he wanted to get his Mustang so close that my kayak was almost like in his windshield. I don't understand these people. Can you see him back there? So I'm headed to the kayak shop to get another rudder pin. I gotta return it to Ty because I borrowed it a couple weeks ago. So time to purchase another one. All right, just pulled up at the uh, kayak shop. Gotta go in here and get some stuff. And I'm off to fishing. I got it, I totally got it. It's like six bucks and some change. Now I'm gonna try to walk, go out here to the beach and hopefully it's not rough because it's like a westward wind. Westward winds are never good. Check this out, right? There's the sea turtle nest. And look at the fence built all the way around the sea turtle nest. And this is the walkway. The other walkway is completely, it's like right here, it's completely blocked off because they don't want anybody walking around it. But as you can see, look at all the footprints. Look at all the footprints in the sand all around the sea turtle map. I'm having a real tough time to decide if I want to stay here or go back in shore because it's kind of white capping out there, like 12, 13 mile an hour wind. Wind is kicking, but I think I can get out there just beyond the break and catch some bluefish. That's what I'm going for. The wind was blowing really hard this day and these skipjacks were blowing up just off the beach. So I had to throw some, some baits at them and I hooked up immediately. These were really big skipjack and I hooked two at one time on the same line. I had a double fly rig going on and these things fought really hard and on a little 8-10 pound uh, rig, two big skipjacks at one time could really pull you for like a ride and uh, they jumped and thrashed all over the place and it was a heck of a lot of fun. You know, honestly, I could sit around and catch ladyfish like all day long because they're so much fun. They jump like a bass and they're aggressive like a bluefish or any other bread or species and they're all over the place and you can just hook up with them one after another after another and they are literally a ton of fun. Now that was a pit bull fight, check them out.
I came out here today to put the whooping on the bluefish, but it's just too churning to be out there. You see it? I got a line out right here, and it's headed way out there. And I'm waiting on them. I can see the bluefish out there too, but I don't want to go out there. I get sucked down the beach as soon as I hook one. Just fought two ladyfish at the same time. It's a double fly rig. And one is fun with a little rig. Two is tough. So see how this goes. Alright, so I just walked the line way out there. Way out there. I got it sitting in my kayak crate. See the line? It's a little rough to be out there. It's like a churning choppy. When you get sucked down the beach, I got tired of paddling. But I caught some nice skipjacks. Got some nice bait. Now it's time to sit back and wait on Shocky. Shocks! So I wanted to touch on the subject while I was out here. And, uh, you know, one of the re real reasons why I keep making these vlogs is I want to at least inspire somebody out there. If you dream it, you can do it. And I used to dream about making videos and being on a kayak and giving some inspiration to people out there that they can do this. If I can inspire one person to change their life, whether you're in a down and out position and this can give you that inspiration to, to live without fear and really grab life by the shoulders and say, I'm gonna live life. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna look at that be beautiful water and that, those cool fish and there's more to life than just a nine to five job. And there's more to life than just bills and there's more to life than you know saving for retirement that there's this am amazing water out there on this little piece of inexpensive expensive plastic that can change your life and change your life course. You just gotta grab life and live it. Because remember in the end, it's not about how much money that is in your bank account. It is about how many people that show up to your funeral. If you can inspire one person and help them out, whether it's showing them fishing, showing them hunting, or showing them that they can truly live a dream, then I think you've succeeded. Sometimes adversity can be your biggest friend. When you've hit that hard spot in life and that you can't go any further and you're swimming upstream, sometimes it's, it's, it's life telling you you gotta find a different route. So you just gotta dust yourself off and look for the simpler things in life, like sitting on a beach at sunset and looking at emerald green water right here on a little bitty piece of plastic like this. And it's great exercise along the way. So, I hope that helped. Check this awesome sunset out. Not every day the opposite of the sunset is cooler than the sunset. So the sun is almost gone down and I still got a line out. Check it out. Nothing has hit it. Bluefish came in, the skip jacket came in, nothing has gone off. Had a weird thunderstorm come up here and then the sun refracting off of that. It was pretty cool. Quest handled the side chop pretty good today. The current was ripping so fast down the beach, I only stayed out there probably 20, 30 minutes. So, but it was fun. I got some exercise in. It was one of those days shouldn't have been out there anyways, but it was churning, not rough. Check out this traffic jam. Bet you nobody lets me over too. Watch.